everybody. My name is Kelly Phones. I'm an educator here at Montevilla Sewing Centers located in Portland, Oregon. Today we're going to be working with the Janome Continental M7. Janome's got a really wonderful feature. It's called a favorite stitch. This allows you to change and save, customize the default on any stitch in the machine. And you have the ability to save two different options. So if you don't like the default, the factory default settings, you can go ahead and change them and save them. And then you can get rid of them and change them and save them again. It's really easy to do, but there are a couple of tricks. So we're going to focus on our favorite stitch settings in this video. So to first thing you want to do is activate those settings. So you come into settings here, the little gear, You've got machine, you've got sewing, and then this one changes the language. We want to be in the sewing settings. And we're going to go down to, I believe it's page four, and you'll see your favorite stitch adjustment. Make sure that's turned on. You can also delete all of the favorite stitches that you've saved on the machine right here with this button. So I'm going to go ahead and clear them all out of this machine just so we're starting from scratch. I would encourage you to really think about it before you do that on your machines because you may have something that you really want to save on there. And then anytime you change settings on this machine, make sure you remember to hit the OK button. Now what we're going to do is, I think I'll choose a zigzag just because it's a little more visible. The location you find these, you've got your width here and you've got your length. This is your stitch edit button. So here it says FS, that stands for favorite stitch. This is to recall a favorite stitch setting. This is to save one and this is to permanently get rid of it, to delete it. So all you have to do, say I want my I want to increase my width to a three and a half and I want to decrease my length and maybe I want to change my tension. So then I'm going to save this because I want to keep using this. Maybe I'm doing an applique project and I don't want to have to change those I don't want to edit the stitch every time I turn it on. So I just want to be able to access my zigzag and have it this way until I'm ready to get rid of it. So I'm going to select save and I'm going to put that in favorite stitch number one. Now I can save this one. I can save multiples. I'm going to ch save it there. And you'll notice how all of these turned yellow with the exception of the pressure. This is a reminder that you have customized this and it's no longer the factory default. The DFT button stands for default and it allows you to temporarily revert to the factory default settings. You can go back to your favorite stitch, select it here, and now you're back to your default. You can turn your machine off, you can turn it back on, and that these settings will remain. You can select a different stitch. So we're here, and then we go back to this one and see how those favorite stitch settings remain. Now when I'm completely done with this and I don't want that to be my default anymore, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to delete that and now it's gone. Once I have it back to factory default, it's going to remain in de factory default. And then I can go ahead and program another one, set up a new favorite stitch. You can do this on any stitch in the machine and you can save two different versions of it and easily flip back to the factory default. So this allows you to really customize everything you're doing on the machine. For years, I would have a little piece of blue painter's tape with my stitch width and my stitch length written on it so that when I turned my machine back on, 
I would remember what settings to put it on for the project I was working on. I equate the favorite stitch option in the Janome's to an onboard version, a fancier version of my blue painter's tape. Hope this has helped you learn how to customize your machine, redo your defaults, and just really enjoy your machine more. Makes it so much easier if you're working on a lengthy project. So happy sewing, everybody. Give me a call at the Beaverton store if I can help you with anything.